Welcome to timesguitar.com and let us take a look at a wonderful song. It's very easy to play. It's called Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan. So here it starts off with D. I'll break down the chords first then I'll get into the strumming. So it starts off with How many rows? So two strokes each. First you play D for a while. Three, four. Now How many roads must a man walk down? Okay, so it switches between D and G. So D, G, G, D, G. Alright. Before you call him a man. Two, three, four. Alright. It goes on for a while. Then again it's sad. So in this part, before she sleeps is G, in is F sharp over G, that means you bring your first finger from 5th string to the 6th string 2nd fret and remove your 2nd finger and mute the 5th string with the bottom part of your 1st finger. So before she sleeps, F sharp over G, A major, 2, 3, 4, alright? So follow this part carefully. Next part it goes to the answer my friend is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Alright. So here it's G G A D D G G G A A D now you stay in D. Then again this song starts. How many roads must a man walk down? Alright, so this thing repeats. Let us take a look at the strumming now and before I move ahead, I'll request you to visit a page called Strumming from Scratch in my website. I've shared the link below. Okay, so there you can learn a lot of strumming patterns from very basic to very advanced and also style oriented strumming pattern like strumming in and picking in style of Beatles, John Mayer and uh, James Blunt, Tom Petty etc. Anyways, so here the strumming pattern will be like this. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3 and 4 and here the trick is I am dividing the guitar into two parts. The low part that means the for D it will be the fourth and the third string and maybe the second string and for the high part for D is first, second and third string. So one is low, two is high, three is low, four is high. So ands will be included like one and is low, two and is high, three and is low, four and is high. Here the strumming pattern will be one, two, three and four and one. my right hand so you need to be very careful with this one two three and four and I'll give you a different angle one two three and four and, and when you are changing chords it'll be easy because for G you've got a wider area so one I'll play it very slow and sing. I'll try my best because it's very difficult to slow down while singing. Anyways, I'll try. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? How many seas must a So in this part, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, and one, two, and three, four, and so in one, two, and I'm playing G. In three, four, and I'm going to F sharp over G. Three, four, and 
So one, two, and three, four. Four, she sleeps in the sand. Then the remaining part is pretty simple with the same strumming pattern. So hopefully you'll understand. Sleepy, and there ain't no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In a jingle jangle morning, I come following you. Welcome to TamsGuitar.com, and we are going to take a look at a song called Mr. Tambourine Man by. Bob Dylan in a very simple way for beginners it uses only three chords it starts off with G hey. So this is the central tune and it keeps on repeating in different forms of lyrics. The tune remains the same. So the strumming pattern that we are going to use here is down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up, down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up. So this is a very handy strumming pattern and I have already uploaded this strumming pattern separately in a separate video. It is the fourth strumming pattern, I guess, in my YouTube channel and website. Mm. It's written down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up, anyways. So you need to practice that individually and then here what we are going to do, we are going to break it down into two chords. So down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up. So what I'm doing here is in G and A, I'm breaking this into two parts. So in G, down, miss, down, miss, in A, up, up, down, 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 up, down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up. Now same thing in D and G, down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up. From D to G, shifting is very easy. If you don't know already, you hold D like this and when you are going to G, don't remove the third finger because this is the common thing between D and G so it will help you to shift quickly anyways so you practice this separately in case you don't know this so one sorry down miss down miss up up down 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 up down miss down miss up not sleepy there ain't no place I'm going to A in A the stomach pattern is full going to down You can mix many strumming patterns like you can play one miss three four and for each chord as well this is also uploaded in my youtube channel and website one miss three four and one miss three four and one miss three four and one all right so you know the chord progression and keep on trying with different strumming patterns then your beat sense will develop and you'll be able to play a lot of songs at ease
as far as i can remember maybe this was the first song i learned same thing with many 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 beginners anyways so i'll keep it simple initially and then i'll teach you the normal way also so it uses g d c in the first round and g d c sorry g d and a minor in the next round so make sure you play g d and c c so for two bars it's c and g d and a minor a minor for two bars it's a minor so first i'll teach you how to shift the chords i'll assume that you are absolute beginners kind of just getting ready to learn your first song oops theek hai so first chord is g g is like this you hold with your second finger on sixth string third fret first finger on fifth string second fret third finger on second string third fret and your fourth finger on first string third fret so this is how you hold g i've seen many beginners holding g like this that is okay but this is more handy this shape so you hold g like this and let us learn the shifting first and make sure i'm going to tell you a few more things while holding a chord your thumb should be like this mostly for open chords so that you get a good grip okay so this is your g and the next chord is d and g and d are very good friends always remember that so what you'll do is you just lift the first second and the fourth finger don't lift the third finger let it stay there because in g that is the common note so you just bring your first finger on third string second fret and second finger on first string second fret so always remember while changing chords you need to target the uppermost notes first upper means the third string here in this case for g the upper most note is the sixth string third fret so anyways so it should be like this always you go go from up to down not from down to up all right so you practice this shifting 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 four so you need to count four and then you need to change after the fourth beat and just arrive in the first beat all right so four beats for each chord 1 2 3 4 so in this case four beats is equal to one bar so we represent music in terms of bar so four beats make one bar in this case it can be three beats also depending on the type of music you are playing so 1 2 so instead of saying 1 2 3 4 when i'm writing i can write down as one bar g so you already know four beats are supposed to be played so one bar g one bar d and two bars c that means 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 all right so from d to c um there is a small trick but it's quite difficult initially see the way my third and second finger are placed for d if you keep this structure intact and bring it here it's almost same they are placed diagonally so while moving from d to c all you need to do is you just lift off the fingers but keep this structure intact intact and bring it here fifth string third fret and then bring your first finger here so it requires a bit of practice and it will happen see my thumb is the is providing the main support basically okay so if your thumb is somewhere else then your system is not that stable so always make sure with the help of the thumb this is the main pivot keeping it as the main balance i'm just moving the fingers okay so these are the few things that you need to remember and i've also uploaded a video on chord shifting you can check it out anyways so from d to c it's like this it requires some practice so again you count 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and do the shifting and similarly you can do the reverse also like from c to d like this but here as i've already told you you should bring your first finger first and then the remaining because the uppermost note should first come okay if you want to sing then four beats if you play four beats then the song will become extremely slow so let us Uh, assume that one bar equal to two beats so 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 4 then it will be 
easier for you to sing otherwise the song will become very slow okay so how you'll sing one ma take the badge of me so after playing the first beat you start singing one ma so when the second beat just comes you say mama ma take when you say take you go to d so again i'll show you ma take the badge is the second beat of me when you say me you go to c 2 3 4 so g two beats d two beats and c four beats so again again why can't again you sing in the same place so after the first beat i can't in the second beat you just sing strong why can't you sing any minor two three four again same it's getting dark dark <laughs> you need to break the word into two syllables dark in arc you go to d so if you can follow this the basic tune is same the, the lyrics is just changing so you understand the tune and start singing it might take some time but big deal it will happen then the next part after first drum in the second beat you just see knock knock knocking when you say knocking you go to d on heaven sits second beat of d to c to c four again knock knock knocking on heaven door the tune also changes a bit since it goes to a minor three four that's it This is for the beginners, and in case if you want to play using a cooler strumming pattern, firstly I would like to request you to visit my page called Strumming from Scratch in my website tamsguitar.com. There, lots and lots of strumming patterns are there. Anyways, <clears throat> so the first strumming pattern we are going to use is one miss three four, and I have already uploaded this strumming pattern, so you can check that one out. Anyways, I'll show you twice. One miss. and one miss three four and all right so we are going to use one miss three four and for g and d one miss three four and one miss three four and and now when we are going to c we are going to use a bigger strumming pattern as i have already told you c is for two bars thus the strumming pattern that we are going to use is going to have eight beats so down miss down miss up up down 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 up down miss down miss up up down 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 up. i have uploaded the strumming pattern as well you can find the links in the description and and if in case i forget to put it there you check out that page strumming from scratch anyways so very slowly it will be like this one miss on changing between g d c then g d a minor for c and a minor the bigger strumming pattern is used video lessons are available for sale in tamsguitar.com visit us at tamsguitar.com and if you have any questions you can mail us at info@tamsguitar.com if you want to buy these videos and thanks for watching do subscribe and like us in facebook see you next time bye bye